Solus 4.7 released, a powerful update with new features. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have some exciting news for Linux enthusiasts. Solus 4.7, codenamed Endurance, has just been released. This update brings refreshed ISOs, updated default applications, better NVIDIA support, and significant improvement across all desktop environments. If you are a Solus user or consider switching, Stick around as we dive into all the details of this latest release. Let's talk about the general updates and default applications first. Let's start with the core updates. Solus 4.7 ships with the refreshed editions and an updated default kernel, ensuring a more stable and seamless experience for users. The default applications have also been updated. Firefox 134.0.2 for fast and secure browsing. LibreOffice 24.8.4.2 for all your productivity needs. Thunderbird 128.6.0 for efficient email management. For multimedia playback, different editions come with optimized software. Budgie and Gnome editions ships with the DRAM box for audio playback and Celluloid for video playback. XFC ships with Perol for multimedia playback. Plasma features Elisa for audio and Heruna for video. Now let's talk about the new software center Flatpak support. One of the major highlights of Solus 4.7 is the introduction of an improved software center. While Solus software center is still available, users are encouraged to try the new GNOME software on Budgie, GNOME and XFCE or Discover on Plasma. This move brings out of the box Flatpak support and improved application descriptions thanks to enhanced app stream metadata support. This means user will get more detailed app descriptions, icons, and screenshots before installing applications. Let's talk about the better NVIDIA support. If you own a newer NVIDIA GPU, especially a 4000 series card, you will be happy to know that Solus 4.7 now includes firmware support for more NVIDIA GPUs. Previously, some users encountered black screens during installation, but this issue should now be resolved. Now let's talk about the kernel and Mesa upgrades. Solus 4.7 now ships with the Linux kernel 6.12.9, while those needing a long-term support which is LTS kernel can opt for 6.6.70. The developers are planning to migrate the LTS kernel to the 6.12.x series soon, so users are encouraged to test it and report any issues. On the graphics side, Mesa has been upgraded to version 24.3.3 bringing improved performance and better hardware support. Now, desktop environment updates. Now let's talk about what's new across different desktop environments. Budgie 10.9.2 Solus continues to ship its flagship Budgie desktop with the latest Budgie 10.9.2. This update brings minor improvements and continues to focus on stability and polish. Now, GNOME 47.3 GNOME fans will enjoy the latest GNOME 47.3, bringing various enhancements including the accent color for more customization, improved support for small screens, screen capture hardware encoding for better performance, faster and more accurate GTK rendering, redesigned open and save file dialogs. Now let's talk about the Plasma 6.2.5. The Plasma edition is packed with the latest technologies, Plasma 6.2.5 for a modern and smooth experience. KDE Gear 24.12.1 and KDE Frameworks 6.10.0 QT 6.8.1 for improved application support SDDM 0.21.0 the latest version of the simple desktop display manager Now finally let's talk about the XFCE 4.20 XFCE fans get the much awaited XFCE 4.20 a significant milestone that introduces experimental VLAN support it includes updated applications like uh, Mousepad 0.6.3, which is a text editor, and Perol 4.18.2, which is a media player, Restricto 0.13.2, which is an image viewer, and Tunar File Manager, which is 4.20.1, and finally the Whisker menu 2.8.3, the application launcher. Now let's talk about the known issues. As with any new releases, there are few known issues. In Plasma Edition, Users must create a k-valid key file before connecting to a network. Package verification. 
running EOPKG check might falsely report Linux current and Linux LTS are broken, but this can be ignored. Now GNOME in VMware's. Some users may experience black screens when booting GNOME in virtual machine, which appears to be an upstream issue. Now finally, downloading and final thoughts. Solus 4.7, codename Endurance, is now available for download. You can head to the official Solus website and choose between a direct download or a torrent option. This release focuses on stability, performance and user experience, making it great time to try Solus if you haven't already. Whether you are using a Budgie, Gnome, Plasma or XFC, there's something new for everyone. What are your thoughts on this release? Are you excited about this update? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Linux content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.